Good morning, C-SPAN. Good morning, America. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you, C-SPAN, for uh, having uh, the CNN anchor on uh, because over the last three and a half plus you know months, we've gotten to see you know the exposure of how the fourth estate has completely been uh, burned down. Uh, if you, Brian, do you believe in polls? I do believe in polls. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, the last poll that I saw from a reliable source was that in 1970, let's talk about Walter Cronkite for a second. The United States believed that the media was giving them real factual information. A new poll just came out that said it's completely the opposite. So 80% believed in the media in 1970, and now 20% does. So 80% doesn't. So when I look at that, I look at this as very unreliable sources. And you guys always talk about how many times Trump has lied. I've calculated that I think with your chirons, with, you know, I don't know if there's any journalists left at CNN, but I know that, you know, if I were to estimate about 300 different, you know, distortions or misinformation that we get out of CNN, and you have to watch them in the airport, which is harsh. But if you added all that up to 46 months, it comes out to be 300,000 plus distortions of truth. So my thing is here is that you guys, this is how low you'll go, is that you went out and you made, you made lies and you, uh, you defamed a child. And then you had to settle out of court to pay this child for distorting information about this young individual. So I would say, you know, if anything that's happening at CNN and anybody who buys your book, it's really just one of those things that is dividing our nation. And I don't believe in dividing our nation. It hurts our great nation. And so CNN is really the enemy of the truth. And that's my opinion. Thank you.